Hey you, have you ever procrastinated and given your assignments late? That's because you're doing it wrong. Which means that you have a huge dishonor on you and dishonor on your cow. But don't worry, the Salty family did not forget you. Made specifically for grains who are doing it wrong, we are now offering merch. This design has everything from your cow being dishonored, a little salt shaker grain, and our motto, you're doing it wrong. Comes in t-shirts, hoodies, and mugs, and stickers. Limited edition merch only available until April 20th. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. Hey Grains, did you know that Barbie has a vlog channel on YouTube? Angel, did you know that? Obviously he knows everything. When I was a kid, I hated dolls so much. I think the reason behind that is because I felt like I had to like dolls. So I did the complete opposite and played with Ninja Turtle figurines. <laughs> right? Do you play with dolls? You're a liar. You're scared of toys, right? So don't, don't start saying things that are lies. Nobody likes a lot. Look, tell them. Do you play with dolls? Oh, lying bird. Lying bird. You lie. And so fast forward today, would I have enjoyed Barbie? The answer is maybe. Because in her vlogs, not only are they just, you know, day-to-day -day things, but she also discusses important topics. Let's take a look. So this video here is called Finding Your Voice, Barbie Vlog Episode 81. And in this vlog, she talks about finding your voice as not just a person, but as a girl in today's world. And she is so articulate that I, I feel like she's a real person. Don't judge, don't judge me, don't judge me. Just let's just watch. International Women's Day is this week. And you all know that this is one of my favorite days of the year. So I've been really trying to think of a vlog that I could do that would truly honor all the amazing women. I'm gonna pause it right here to admire the voice acting because it seems so personable, so real, like an actual person who has concerns and is going through a thought process. Mothers and daughters and sisters and aunts and grandmothers, the humanitarians, the scientists who have made this world a better place. The artists who make sense of all the things and the inventors that move us forward. These are the women that remind us that we have choices. But no matter what I think about, I just keep coming back to you and me. So it's, it's really touching on subjects that are so important and I feel a little weird about it because it's Barbie. Hi there, I'm Barbie, I'm Barbie. No, no, no. But the fact that Barbie has a voice now and concerns makes me think that I probably would have liked this version of Barbie rather than the home cook Barbie who's just picture perfect, right? So if you're interested, I'll link to Barbie's vlogs down below. The channel is a mishmash of vlogs and commercials, so just, just look for the ones that have the animated thumbnails. They're pretty interesting. Well, you might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with Salty Crafter? Well, does it not mean- did you just hit me? What did I do? So what does it have to do with Salty Crafter? Well, well, it makes Barbie a YouTuber. And so, we're going to be reviewing together Barbie's craft kit, which is a lip balm kit. This is a new low, Angel. This is a new low, right? It is what it is. This kit costs $13 US, and if you're in Canada, it's pretty expensive at 20 do 20 20 20. And this kit promises five different lip balms. What has me pretty excited is on the box itself, you can see that there's wax, which means that we're going to be melting our own wax. Nowhere near the crap quality of the Karina Garcia lip balm kit, which was very, very much so dumbed down. One of the other reasons I have high hopes for this kit is because if we look over here, we can see that this is an actual picture of the finished product. It's not a drawing, it's not Photoshop, it seems to be like the actual product. I'm pretty hopeful. Barbie, don't disappoint me. Time to see what we get inside. Bruh. Here's what we get inside. Five lip balm cases, four colors and flavorings. Watermelon, yeah, I, I didn't mention this, but I'm gonna mention it now. Every one of these containers comes with this really sticky backing that makes sure that it stays in the container, which is great in essence, but now it just sticks to everything and removing it from the back of this is a pain in the butt. Tropical fruit, vanilla, strawberry, a lip shimmer in case you want, wax chips, a wax base. Let's just be very clear, having a wax base and wax chips 
sets this kit apart from any of the other craft kits with lip balms that I've done so far, which in all technicality also puts it a couple of levels above those other kits. We'll see if it works though. Measuring cup, a scoop, and a stirry stick. And last but not least, we get some instructions. I will be following the instructions on how to make the uh, three-tiered color lip balm because might as well go all the way. One of the things that I did notice while reading, that's just the teacher in me, there are a couple of typos because there is supposed to be a space in between ore and furniture. And the other little typo is down here for the word bomb. They added an extra space. Barbie people, make sure you proofread! Before we begin, I need to do a test on those colors. Strawberry smells like very sweet candied strawberries. Watermelon? Mmm, candied watermelon. Like the Mr. Freeze. Vanilla? Like vanilla candy. And tropical fruit? Like coconut. Mostly. A little bit of pineapple, but mostly coconut. And so the trio of color that I'm going to be using in my lip balm will be the pink, yellow, and blue. <clears throat> so the first thing we have to do is put one scoop of wax base and nine wax chips inside the container. It smells like nothing. Oh boy, how do we get this out? Have no fear, toothpick is here. One of the other pain in the bums is that the lip container can close, but the chips, they don't close. So give me a sealable bag, please. Now what we need to do is put it in boiling water that I just took out now and let it melt inside. So we have to keep stirring it until the mixture on the inside is liquidy and then we can add our couple of drops of the flavoring. They said three to four. And if we want shimmer, we can go ahead and add a couple of drops of the shimmer. A few moments later. So I've been sitting here for five minutes straight watching boiling water cool down and the wax chips are just not getting softer. I tried mixing it and it's like, nah, I will not be soft. And so you can see that the wax base melted, but the wax chips are still in chunks and they're still pretty hard. They're not losing their shape at all. So the water is not hot anymore. <clears throat> oh, the salt is rising. I'm gonna go boil some more water, put it back in there and see if we can still melt it. Before some of you say, Jakey, you're doing it wrong. No, look, I'm using my phone because it has a black background and you can see the steam coming out of the water. So the water is hot. It's boiling hot. Let's go again. All right, so here we are 15 minutes later, three refills of boiling water and a half a scoop more of the wax base. And this is what we have. So you have to be very careful because it does harden very quickly and it's extremely finicky and it practically does really need boiling water because I took the container and I put it in a pot of boiling water. Definitely not an activity for six years old and up, as it says on the box. All right, so here we go. Boil number six. I lost count. I really did. But it's really liquidy now because I put it in the, in the boiling water pot itself. All right, so wish me luck. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other two colors. Now all we have to do is wait two hours and I have to mention that I did burn myself. The water was so hot and constantly having to reheat it and boil it and have my fingers right on top. This crack <gasps> happened and it is pretty, um, pretty unpleasant. So don't let kids get anywhere near the whole process of heating this up. And if you're an adult, do it with extreme caution because I have dragon skin. But this happened and now it hurts. Now I, now I, I just want to cry. Two hours later. So here we are two hours later and uh, <gasps> a band-aid later. And I think this is finally ready to be, to be used. So let's, let's roll it up and see if it actually rolls up. And yes, it does roll up. Now the question is, does it roll back down? And it does. Now for the test that you've all been waiting for, you wanna, wanna try it on my luscious lips, right? Look at, look at that. Look at those voluminous, thin, voluminous lips that I've had. <laughs> well, hello there. What? You want you want to get close to me? Not too close, cause cause I'm pretty shy. Come on, you can get closer. You can get closer. I'm shy, but not that shy. All right, I, I think I think that's close enough because now we're going to be trying the lip balm, the texture and the color and, and all that stuff. So right off the bat, it does smell like vanilla, which it's supposed to. And let's see if it gives us a shimmer and a nice glossy lip feel. So you can see the difference between the bottom and top lip. It is quite glossy. I really love the feel of this. It's very smooth. 
but I don't see much of a shimmer. I would I would 100% put it in my bag and use it myself. But let's talk about the kit. Time to find out. Is this kit worth it? If you're new to Salty Crafter, apparently all of us are salty because everyone keeps telling us, but Grain, you're doing it wrong. So it's just, that's how we are. So we always look at the cons first. And if you don't like that, then that makes you salty too. All right, let's go through the first con. At $22 Canadian, this is by no means a bargain. But of course, if you're in the US, $12 seems reasonable. I know it's a small detail, but there are so many typos on this one kit. Even at some point, instead of using the word advice, they use the word advise. And it was just, no. And then the other typos that are there. I had to go back and forth about six to eight times for each color just to get it to melt. On the instructions, it really makes it seem as though it was easy peasy, but it was not. The front of the box shows that there's a purple, but there's no purple. We're really getting the primary colors. Don't worry, I'll get to the mixing part in not too long. But the front of the box should really show the colors that come inside. The box itself says six years old and up, but if you absolutely need adult supervision to make it, this is not a kit for six years old and up. Let's say six to eight. It's not for that. Here's a quick succession of cons. The water is extremely hot. The plastic container is hot. And the pouring is extremely crucial because it hardens very quickly. Which means that all of these cons put together, this kit needs absolute rebranding. The only reason they are advertising it for six and up is because of the Barbie brand. But if we were to look at the items inside, I would easily say that this kit is most likely for 10 years old and up. But of course, you still need the adult to be around. It would work really well as an adult kit. As I had mentioned, in front of the box, it shows a purple, but we don't get purple on the inside. But we do get the primary colors, which means we can create pretty much a variety of colors. All of them. Even brown if you wanted. But nowhere does it mention in the instructions what colors help you create what colors. They do, however, mention that you can have different scents but not the colors. Even though the instructions make it seem like you're just gonna put it in the hot water and it's going to melt within two, three minutes, expect waiting between 15 to 20 minutes having to refill constantly the hot water because it gets cold, naturally. Which leads into the next one, which is uh, you may burn yourself, which I did. And I am not pleased with that because it hurts and it was very, very unpleasant. So now I'm gonna keep a Band-Aid with polysporin on me for at least overnight. So with that said, I don't understand why is it that we can't use a microwave. Instead, even with the microwave, they say to microwave the water, which comes up to the same thing. It would be great if we could melt the wax in the microwave. All right, now on to the pros because there are there are some there are some good things about this kit. It is not tested on animals. It clearly says it in the instructions, which makes Salty very happy. It has wax chip packets. It is so different than the other ones that I've done, the other lip balm kits, so I'm really happy about that. It's an actual process. The difference with the Karina Garcia kit is all you had to do was put one container into the other and it was a lip balm. Whereas here we get the whole process of putting it together. The colors are really pretty and even though at first I thought they were transparent, they do harden pretty vibrant. It smells good. There's not much to say about it other than the fact that yes, it does smell like what they claim it does. It has a really good feel when I'm putting it on. It is pretty smooth. So even though I'm sitting here in front of the camera giving the cons and the pros, I keep doing this and it's pleasant. It's not gross, it's not oily, it's just right. Now, even though there are lots of cons, I would give this kit a seven on 10 dorks. I really would have loved to give this kit a nine or more, but the process of melting it was extremely tedious and all I kept doing was going back and forth. Don't get me wrong, I love going for walks, but I don't like going for walks with boiling, piping hot water in my hands while my cats are swirling back and forth between my feet. That's a danger hazard. It is a full kit. You actually get an end product that is pretty, it is useful, it smells good, but the process could use some tweaking. It's definitely not for kids because you have to be there. And hence, my seven, because it's it's okay, but it could be better. Hey Grains, so we are the next morning and I got a package from Julie and all it said is that there's a mini me inside. So I wanted to unbox this and see what we got inside. So let's do the doing. All right, so the first thing we see is 
Um, uh, oh, oh, sorry. Oh my god. Blue Rose Amigurumi, and this is by Julie Aslan. What it says on the note is Hi, Jackie. Hope you like it. A few bonus. Decided to jump in the box. Let me get a few keychain that I made. I probably shouldn't read this. It's going to be spoilers. If you want to check out Julie, make sure that you do give her much, much love. Here's all of her information, which I'll leave in the description box below as well. Okay, I just wanna. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> this is so soft. All right, so it says, <laughs> open the last, don't cheat. Oh, there was something in there. Oh, let's be gentle. Don't worry, it landed in the bubble wrap. Ermie, he's <laughs> so adorable. She even got all the little pink spots on him. That is, that is cute. Level 9,000. It's not like smushy. He's really firm. All right, I think this is a more familiar setup because I was standing and my back's like, stop it. All right, so we have an absolutely adorable little bee. I think I'm gonna put this on my bag. Next, a little bomb. You great, the bomb. How do you make this? Oh my god. That is so cute. Is it salty too? It looks like it's frowning. I love the salty face though. It's just, it's like it's looking at me. It's all saltiness intensifying. All right, and then this here. This must have taken forever. Just look at the amount of dots. For those of you who've done dots or scales or tiny details, you know that something like this has taken hours, if not days, because sometimes when you're doing things this detailed, your eyes are like, yeah. And then we have this baggie. That is so cute. Okay, so this has has got to be the Flareon on leather. Yes! The shading is wonderful. That is so neat. That's gonna go on my luggage for when I travel. Oh! Wait! A little to moon. I'm not gonna open it just yet because I wanna make sure I don't lose all the little pieces. We get a little plate of grubs, which look gross, but quite relevant. And then a bag before the last one. Beanies! Erming! <laughs> Those are adorable. They would make great pieces for my desk. They wouldn't fit my head because that's probably like a 10 year old. This was my old hat that I used to wear in my older videos. Just so you know the difference in size, that is the difference in size. All right, and then last but not least, I am so excited. This is huge. Bear, bear shoes. Okay, let's not go slowly. <gasps> now I know. I have goosebumps right now. We have the I'm insulted shirt, and I'm, I'm usually in t-shirt and, and pajama pants and those slippers. And then even the hair. So where it comes down to the eyes. See, like, I'm always, I'm always fighting it. So those hats were included for mini me. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty speechless right now. Let's put the other one. Oh, me. Good. Julie, thank you so much for making mini me amigurumi. Brains, make sure that you check out Julie's information. I'll leave it in the description box below. This skill set is something I can only dream of because, wow. Julie, I'm gonna be messaging you, so keep an eye open. All right, back to past Jackie. Don't forget to check out my merch. It is a limited edition, so if you're interested, I'll leave all the information in the description box below. The last time I did merch, it was available, I think, for about two weeks, and so many of you grains had it. If you did get my previous merch, make sure you hashtag salty merch, whether it's on Instagram or Twitter. I'm going to use you grains pictures in my video so that you can see how, how awesome the grain family is. If you want to watch a salty video, make sure you check it up here. And if you want to watch a crafty or experimental crafty video, check it out down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.